in apply for those jobs where you can get jobs that pay more than minimum wage and of course they are going to pay you mm. it's going to be a good experience for you gone for big stuff it comes with good pay when i say good pay like mm -hmm. career based kind of pay yeah. and you get extended number of hours uh, students love this job so much but as an international student you are eligible to work for hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel mara here if this is your first time dropping by hey love welcome make sure you subscribe and join the family and if you are returning you already know i love you so much thank you guys so much for coming back to watch another video and in today's video i have a special guest if you are looking to move into canada and you're looking for resources that can help you navigate to your life here please head to miss yemis's channel i'm going to have her channel in the description box and also on the screen i feel like ogs that have been watching how to move to canada video for such a long time would know her because she's very very good and she knows her onion in this line hmm. so you guys oh, please wash <laughs> You guys head to her channel <laughs> and thank her also for you know agreeing to do this with me today so okay. yeah missy you're of welcome course. to the channel anytime anytime my darling yeah yeah so in today's video i want us to kind of talk about um part-time jobs for international students in mm -hmm. canada i'm still a student here but yeah missy already graduated a couple of months back but of course she still has like experiences that we're sure. going to need for sure <laughs> and now she's working she's now on, on work permit she's currently working here and so i feel like she'll be able to also throw more light in some of these jobs mm -hmm. all right yeah. so we are going to be talking about some jobs that you can do here part-time as an international student and the reason why this topic is very important is like money issue is like becoming like a very <laughs> you know demanding issue right now yeah. a lot of students like really need to get jobs and some people come here and they're not even able to find jobs for such a long time so hopefully after watching this video you begin to you know think oh maybe i should start applying for jobs like this maybe mm -hmm. you were not thinking in that line you just to bring it to your knowing just a way of us also helping international students yeah. that are in canada mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm happy to share my bits with yeah. you guys yeah all right guys so we are going to head on with the list if you see me looking down i already have a list so that i don't waste your time and my time as well so the first job that we have here for international students would be on campus jobs so i'll throw in the jobs and then i'll talk about them a bit and then yeah missy can also throw in mm -hmm. some light yeah. you know as a student when you come here and before i forget we have a part one of this video more like a part one of the video on yamisi's channel where we talked about challenges that international students are currently facing like new challenges mm -hmm. make sure you watch that video because we also shared like different perspectives there as well so as an international student you can actually work on campus so i'm going to let yamisi just explain this to you guys just in case you're just hearing this for the first time so you have a better understanding of how a student can actually live and work in canada okay yeah thank you mara so as an international student you are eligible to work for a certain number of hours so because you're a student as well you're restricted to the number of hours that you can work so on the average that is 20 hours although last year that's october 2022 22, yeah. october 7th to be precise oh, you the num yeah the the um ircc decided to implement a new policy just a temporary policy um for students who have gotten their approvals or who are already living in canada to be able to work for unlimited number of hours so no work no work hours restriction and that's supposed to end december 31st 2023 we are hoping that it gets extended but for now that's the status quo so because of that you are restricted to work for a number of hours if you did not get approved or have not applied for it um, for your visa at that time you know so anyone that is applying after october 7th you still mm -hmm. have to work for yeah. 20 hours. hours yeah wow it was really interesting that she brought that in and so i'm going to just talk about a few jobs that you can do on campus um there are so many like 
um, eateries, restaurants and stuff on campus and mm -hmm. they're always looking to recruit students. In fact, they even recruit a lot of students because they know that these jobs yeah. like will be stable for students, mm -hmm. different people work different shifts. So start looking out for such jobs. I also have bookshops. I also have parking services. I know a couple of my friends that do this. It's a very interesting job because in Canada, before you can park your car or when you are parking your car in the school, you have to pay, okay? But some people just park cars and they don't like pay and we have students that go around or people that go around just to make sure that everybody that is parked in a particular car lot paid and if you don't pay you get a ticket so students love this job so much because it just like also helps you just walk around i've seen a couple of my friends doing it and i'm like hi yeah it's very interesting <laughs> another one is also housekeeping housekeeping is like if you're in a school like you of our they have like resident buildings so they all need students to be able to work just like clean and get the buildings ready for visitors and people that want to lodge in the facilities <laughs> there are off-campus jobs as well so when she said on campus for you know those eateries i think we call them um, confectionery stores, stores. Oh. we there are some for example tim hortons mm. and um what they call McDonald's. It now? mcdonald's all of that it could be in the school because you know maybe they have a store within the school environment yeah. but a lot of them are outside, outside of the school yeah. and it, the, one of the reasons why a lot of people do this go for this job, job is because yeah. you get free lunch Ooh, every day yeah. as you work yeah. so that helps people to just feel like mm, my lunch is sorted so people don't even eat in the morning so it's just easy mm -hmm. although most of the, these jobs are mostly um minimum minimum jobs. yeah but sure. you know it still pays your bills, bills yeah. and you get extended number of hours, hours yeah. they get extended number of hours so that's yeah. also a reason to um you know go for those kind of jobs, jobs i yeah. mean you're just coming in you know it, gone for big stuff but if you're not getting that then you need to also you know get something so that like we said in, in the last like, in the video that we just, just did, did. It, you continue building your work, work experience, experience in canada and also you know you just start getting ready to like it prepares your mind, mind for the for job market market exactly yeah. thank you so much yeah missy so make sure that you're going for on campus jobs because as a student like that is one of your best bets okay and you know that when you are earning in school we kind of explained that in yemisi's video i'll try mm -hmm. not to repeat so you guys should just go and watch it mm -hmm. but when you're working in school the hours do not particularly count, count yes. all right so even if you work like a thousand hours in school it doesn't really count mm -hmm. okay yeah. the ircc do not really the government count do not it. count it yeah. okay so because and they are mostly above minimum I mean, yes yes yeah but we'll get to that point where i tell you jobs that are also on campus but like they pay more okay so if you are working on campus you just know that is a lot of extra money for you for instance after december 31st and the government decides to lift the unlimited hour thing and you're working on campus you know that at least you have a level of security compared to someone that doesn't have a job on campus yeah all right so the second one i'm going to talk about is teaching assistant and research assistant I'm going to try and talk about this because like I am a research assistant and if UMC has something to add, yeah. she would definitely mm -hmm. add. So I'm a, I am a research assistant um, in my university, University of Regina. And this is the part where I say you can get jobs that pay more than minimum wage. Okay, because as a research assistant, you earn a lot more than a minimum wage like it's a, it comes with good pay when i say good pay like mm -hmm. career-based kind of pay it mm -hmm. comes with a good pay and if you're a teaching assistant teaching assistant to the same thing mm -hmm. and for undergraduate you can apply for teaching assistant for um graduate student you can apply for teaching assistant but for research assistant it's always mostly available for graduate students but it doesn't mean that you can't get an undergraduate it depends on the type of research mm. that you are applying for to be a research assistant if you're a research assistant your job is mostly just to conduct research do literature reviews transcribe data if you have to it just depends different research programs will require you like to do different things and your team like depends on how big your team is it's a very cute job i will not even lie if you're a graduate person and you love research aim for it because i tell you it's going to build your experience and it's going to help you so much another reason why i say that apart from it making you money 
as a student is going to be a good experience for you for your jobs mm -hmm. that is really the only experience i have before i applied for the internship job that i told you guys i got in a video back that was literally like the only canadian experience mm -hmm. i had on mm -hmm. my cv mm -hmm. all right and i feel like that really helped me a lot so make sure that you're looking out for graduate research assistant jobs and teaching assistant jobs there are some programs that automatically allows you to be a research assistant. assistant how do i put it now so most thesis based programs when you are working with a supervisor exactly. automatically some supervisors just you know like them exactly. like maybe if you're studying masters in law, law. my friend automatically became a researcher research it was part of mm. the yeah it was part of her work duties or whatever so yeah some jobs come with it and of course they are going to pay you, pay you. but some do not so that's why she's saying apply for those jobs right. and trust me that's one thing i wish i did you know i applied but i never got to work because it's very very competitive um but yeah try to reach out for it you know especially if um for, especially for programs that you really really love so maybe like economics like a yeah. course that you feel like it's natural to you because at the end of the day if you have that job and you're still doing a job outside you know you need to be able to yeah. marry the two yes. um work together so yeah yes another way too that i feel like you can land research assistant jobs we kind of talked about this a bit in her video is to actually talk to your professors the research assistant position i got was actually because of my engagement in a particular professor's class and, mm. and he was like oh you seem like a bright person i have um a lecturer that is looking for a research assistant mm, and that nice. was how i just sent my cv yeah. did the interview and they hired me so be open to talking to your professors mm. and also ask them oh professor would you be needing a teaching assistant for the next semester mm. they pick they decide whoever they want to pick as teaching assistant mm. and you just get the job so be yeah. open to having a conversation too with your professors okay the third job that I, I have also like gained from that has been helping international students is transcription, okay? You know, like Canada is big on research and most people conduct research and interviews, okay? And after conducting these interviews, people need people to kind of transcribe those interviews just listen to that interview and transcribe it into a reading a readable document so it's another job that i feel like people are not tapping into much but you can actually get a lot of that within campus and just talk to people that oh you transcribe and you find out that people will start recommending you to people and you start getting jobs and it pays like pretty fair some of us had that um you know that fear of oh yeah, what if what, what if, if yeah but right now i tell you once you are confident enough to get like past the interview stage the job the is, job is you like will I be said, able to settle chilled. in yeah, yeah you'll be able to yeah. just do it yeah it's true most of those on-campus jobs they're actually very very chill, chill. Very, very, very true. Job. I live for on campus jobs. It's pending me that I will stop at a point, but <laughs> I live for them because they're actually very true. Because yes. employers know that you're a student, so mm -hmm. sometimes they are very like understanding. All right, the next job that I, I have here is caregiving. All right, I'm going to talk about caregiving because I also do a caregiving job. This is a very good job, especially if you're moving to a province like Saskatchewan where you have a lot of um, homes for um physically challenged people old people and intellectually children. challenged people mm. children so you can give care and i find that is actually a very fulfilling and chill job to mm. do as well i always tell students to aim for care jobs because sometimes as a student you might have a lot of workload to do sometimes i get to work and i'm supporting and taking care of my individual i am still able to do my assignments and the organization allows you to they are like oh fine i mean it depends on the organization you are with but this is a job that you should tap into especially if you're moving to saskatchewan it's one of the first it's one of the in in high demand, demand jobs yeah, in jobs, saskatchewan yeah. and even students. for students and it's it's not a minimum wage job. it's not a minimum wage job yeah it's not a minimum wage job at all mm -hmm. like i mean some organizations might be close minimum wage but it's actually very fulfilling to do that even in some other parts of canada so just make sure you're also aiming for caregiving jobs so if you want to go into programs like social work you can start from there yeah. and if you want to go if you want to transition into medical like the healthcare, healthcare sector it's, it's also a good, a good place to start, start from because when you have that on your resume it speaks volume okay so you. yeah you know a lot of people might have um you know this feeling yeah, about working yeah, there yeah. but trust me if you know that you want to transition into healthcare whether as a nurse a, you know all of those healthcare related mm. professions 
having that would be yeah, a good price yeah it's a good, your yeah, yeah it's a good place to start that's nice thank you and then you know that like i already said if you have like that oh you don't really want to work with old people you have the option of working with young children, children. like there are yeah. so many opportunities in that yeah field. i know because at first i used to be like oh so are you going to you know bath this person and all but i realized that it's actually not all those yes. individuals some you just have to give them medicine mm -hmm. some you just have to give them food at the right time yep. some you just have to take yep. them out to play and all of that so yep. it's not necessarily you taking full care of them yeah okay yep. so yeah yeah you're growing in experience i remember sharing with my friend about my care job and i'm like yeah I, I administer meds and the person was like yo do you know the things i've learned about meds like just by the, the virtue of work Working in that, like working that job, mm. and like and right safety, now, food, and safety, all of that. And my job is just to do her meds and make sure she's okay. And I go to my house, mm -hmm. so like it's a very true job. So if you don't like to do those ones that you have to do all those handy things and take care of them, mm. you can aim for the ones that you just administer meds and and that and they train you as well. So you're also getting a lot of experience by the virtue of doing just care jobs. Mm. Yeah, fifth one that I have for you guys is warehouse jobs i can talk a little bit about that so warehouse jobs um so home depot wholesale club superstore they might like warehouse job does not necessarily mean warehouse job like warehouse as a warehouse um it could just be th those big stores where you can you know mm. work a lot of students are there yeah. like it can be a minimum work job depending on the position that you get mm -hmm. but to a large extent, you see a lot of people working there. Some people, their job is just to arrange, arrange. things in the store. Some is just to maybe put batch number or expiration or check out um, products in the store that is, that is probably expired. expired. Some, it could be you working as a customer service person, a cashier. Like, it depends on the kind of job that, you know, you a kind of roles that you get in those warehouse jobs. So, yeah. I would say that is also one of the jobs that a lot of people get. Yeah. And another thing... Some people gone for those kind of jobs because most of them or some of them um, have overnight shifts. Ooh. And as a student, you are already, you know, your day is already packed with like school and whatnot. So people just use that as their overnight job and then you resume back. Yeah. First and foremost, you know that when you are coming to Canada and you want to work and study, you, like you have to be prepared. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, so yeah, that's another reason why people do those kind of jobs. That's very interesting. And as Yemi was saying it, I just remember that I know a couple of people that do this job, and they always have goodies, like they always have stuff from the store because I think they give them mm. like or maybe things that they store they are not using. And I'm telling you, as a student, you're going to need some of these <laughs> things. Well, but most of these jobs especially those confectionery stores mm. a lot of them and maybe even some of the warehouse jobs a lot of them help students to settle in like mm. provincial nomination. nomination yeah they help them that's why you see a lot of people get acquainted with those kind of jobs because oh. they get sponsorship she... work sponsorship yeah wow. so if you are one of those people that maybe your age is not really on your side you can't really go for express entry jobs and whatnot mm. that's also something you can go for yeah i remember my first job here um when i when i was still working there i was told that um they could pay for my tuition fees i just have to have a certain percentage from school, school. and of course it's like of course like you can pass that kind of um yeah. point so they just want to know that oh you have is it cgpa yes so CGPA. cumulative your cumulative, your cumulative average, average is yeah. a particular number of, and it's kind of low um so but the only thing is that if they pay your tuition you have to stay there for a number of years yeah. or and they can also give you like provincial nomination that sponsorship and the like so Wow. There are those benefits that you get yeah, when you work with some of these, um, you know, organizations. This one that I have is salesperson. I feel like this is like very basic, like you already just understand what it means to be a salesperson. Mm -hmm. Most of these stores, like businesses, they always need salespeople, right? And like the social telecommunications. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, sure, of course. Yeah. Nice. And some yeah. of them come in shifts, like you come in now the next person is coming in so it's not like you have to work like really really long hours mm -hmm. you just have to pick shifts like depending on your schedule mm -hmm. some are actually based on commission as well some have standard pay rates, pay rates. and some is based on commission, commission so for those with commission if you have more clients of course mm -hmm. money gets increased. of course just like yeah. the internet marketing back home mm -hmm. if you get more people yeah interesting mm -hmm. yeah. thank you so much for sharing mm -hmm. and then we have um office assistant this one is 
also like especially for people that are actually career driven that like want to build a career in like a certain line of work you can actually start by doing being an office assistant you know some of those experiences kind of like build up to so many things especially if you want to also go into um hr customer service representatives mm -hmm. so make sure that you are actually looking out for some of these jobs they can also be on campus or like outside campus yeah so another point that i have for you is summer jobs a lot of students i feel like a lot of students are sleeping on summer jobs and please I, I don't know like make sure you apply for summer jobs yes. the interesting thing about summer jobs is you can either apply for a federal job um, and you can either apply for a provincial job I have wow. friends that got federal jobs as a summer student yeah hmm. and I also got a provincial job as a summer student um, that also helps you to build your career and when you apply for these jobs they are you work with governments mm. you work with ministries you know that kind of stuff um currently for in saskatchewan i'm sorry i currently live in saskatchewan so i only know for saskatchewan but currently um i was going through sask energy careers sask energy is a crown corporation in mm. the province right. at the moment of course you want to be in energy yes. sector so um i was going through or maybe i think i just saw it on linkedin also and they are looking for summer students um for business or finance related and another one related to like engineering mm -hmm. or something but they specifically mentioned summer student and the money is actually good. good and aside the money being good you get the exposure that you yeah. need you get that um the you get that job on your resume, resume. and you're able to speak to it to get future jobs future job. you can use them as your references, references. get a reference yeah it's not easy yeah. <laughs> so you Smart. use that so yeah i would say going for summer jobs as well like of course you can start with you know some of these minimum wage jobs when you first come in but you don't have to you can start small but don't, but don't stay, stay small, small. Hey! Hey! <laughs> you can start small but don't stay small so yeah that's it <laughs> interesting thank you so much yeah, Missy, for and sharing. do not sorry sure, sure. i feel like i always have something to say and do not overrule or take out your foreign experience oh no no yeah no. a lot of people come in and they just feel like they're foreign like probably we're nigerian so i'll just say nigeria their nigerian experience does not does count not or their nigerian education does not count that's a lie right. yeah so don't overrule or take out your foreign experience nice interesting thank you so much yeah, Missy. Yeah. the last but not the least that we have here is um cashiers and customer service representatives mm -hmm. customer service jobs um you can either do those online remotely yes. and you can also do in person oh, almost keep that? right yeah so for the remote one though is a little bit dicey because people tend to ask me question like oh since we are supposed to work for 20 hours how then do i tell my employer you know so i personally i've not worked as a remote person before but i feel like you can communicate that to your lecturer like sorry to your um employer ahead, ahead. just so that the person is aware, aware. that you're still there and you have restriction in number of hours yeah the reason is because you don't want any issue with your postgraduate work permit at, at the end of the day yeah. okay so yeah there's that and also in person so those stores those you know confectionery stores mm. those places where the grocery stores where we go yeah every day, every day. there are cashiers there are customer service people will always buy things and return them so there is a returns desk customer service there is a cashier so yeah those jobs are just very very easy for you to get yeah. so go to walmart go to superstore like i like we said at the beginning of the video go there drop your it resume it was actually your video that we said oh, it was, okay <laughs> Drop your resume. So yeah, I feel like this is a part, part two of two. the other yes. video. But yeah, so drop your resume. Go out and drop your, your resume. resume. That's it. <laughs> yeah, guys. So this is the end of this video. And I'm just going to conclude it by saying that as a student, you can actually make money here in Canada. But it also lies so much about your mindset. Okay, just believe that you can. And like gone for some of these things that we've talked about. If you experience delay here and there, just know that. It's part we, of it. Yeah, it's part of it, part yeah. of the journey. A lot of us part of your relocation it. story. Exactly. Everybody will have a story. A story, yes. And we all experienced yeah. it as well. So you're just know that you're not alone, mm -hmm. but something is going to eventually work out. I yeah. guarantee you that because you're in a society that is kind of working and structured to work. Also, before you come in, um, once you get your visa and it's probably like less than a month to travel down, you can start applying for, for jobs. jobs. So go to indeed.ca, LinkedIn, like this platform. Job if you are coming to Saskatchewan, job, exactly. Go to your provincial website, see the jobs that ah. you know they have for students. School websites. School websites as school, well. So school please, career sites. 
it's oh man exactly go to their career options you are going to see a lot of um student jobs there jobs, and yeah. also you can ask your lecturers um if they are looking for a research assistant or teaching assistant um, yeah so talk to your supervisors and if they do not have they can also refer, refer you. you yeah and that also means try to keep your grades going good, good. good. and yeah. try to be very interactive in your class in your because class. the only way they identify you or know you is when you talk in talk class, in class. Exactly. i'm talking from experience I'm not like i did it but i know how you yes. can work for I, you i said it that was how i got my research assistant because mm -hmm. i would always engage in the class so the professor just picked interest in me i was like oh this particular person is looking for a black specified it's a black female research assistant nice. and mm -hmm. i applied and i got it another thing that i wanted to say and i think one of my friends said this in one of my you know past videos is use your um visible minority status yeah, as yeah, yeah. an advantage. advantage it is actually an advantage whenever i am filling a form i put in the visible minority <laughs> black course like that might even be the only reason why you are being picked mm -hmm. and that also means that and this is me telling myself as well when you apply for a job and you are rejected does not necessarily mean that you You're didn't do qualified. well it might also be because you know they're looking for a particular you know person really? so thank you kia missy for You're schooling welcome. us and just bringing out those points <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If there are more video ideas that you want us to talk about, just leave it in the comment section and I'm going to see a way to drag your missy <laughs> to this channel to talk about it. Right. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye. Bye guys.